I spent the last seven years of my life living out my wildest dreams. Bianca, Rocky, my dad. This was built on their shoulders. Hey, my man, can I help you? Let me get an autograph. Nah, I ain't signing no autographs, but you get off my car. You don't remember me, huh? Okay, the first question is this is your first film you directed and what is the big difference from being an actor and being a director? Uh, big difference is I'm doing both at the same time, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's really hard to compartmentalize because you're kind of doing both at the same time. So I think that was uh, the biggest difference is just being able to have the, you know, um, the responsibility of the entire movie and making sure that vision is executed properly. Yeah, I, I must say I love this movie. Great, man. I'm glad you enjoy it, man. And which one you, is your favorite? And Michael Fuller, director or Michael Fuller, actor? I don't know. You I, don't know? No, nah, I don't know, well, man. Because the taster say she gave you uh, 10 points for the director. Oh, that's great. I love that. That's great. That's, I love that. What did she give me for acting? Also the 10. Ah, okay. See, that's why it's yeah. hard to choose. She 10 and 10. You, you know what I'm saying? And, and this is your third time for uh, work with her. And how about your film, Dylan? I love her, man. She's great, man. She's one of my, you know, um, a best scene partner. You know, somebody I've worked with, you know, over the years and we've grown, you know, as a friend and, and professionally. So I'm just really excited and happy for everything that she's doing. And, the fact that she got a chance to help me and be a part of my directorial debut is something that I'll never forget. So it's, it was a, it was an amazing time. And we know that Sylvester uh, wasn't acting in, in these movies. Did he have any advice for you as a producer? Uh, yeah, as a producer, man, he's, his DNA is throughout this entire movie. You know, I think, yeah. you know, it doesn't really happen without the work that he's done throughout the Creek, throughout the Rocky franchise. So to be able to have him as a producer on this, I thought was really, really important to have. And there's a lot of training and uh, sparring in these movies. And how much time did you spend in pre-training? A, a lot, a lot of time. I don't really know how long, man. I feel like it's all one big thing. But I trained yeah. as I prepped, you know, um, maybe like 40 hours a week. Maybe I heard Jonathan say that, so it sounds good. And uh, were there any injuries in a particularly memorable situation? No, you know, I mean, we get hit, you know, you want to take some punches, but there were, you know, we, we tried to have a pretty safe set um, and, and, and safe stunts. So there weren't no, any, any real injuries, but we did get punched a couple times. You know, if you make a mistake, you go left, you're supposed to go right. You know what I'm saying? You duck, you're supposed to instead of going up. You know, you, you get you get caught a little bit, but you're such in the moment, the adrenaline's going, you don't really feel it in the moment. See you, Brian. Okay. Nice to meet you, bro. Okay, see you. See you next time. See bye. ya. Bye. Damien was like family. Hey, hey, what you doing, man? Now we passed talking. Then maybe you just have to find him. Do what I gotta do. Some of my methods, you might disagree with me. Getting to see Mike approach directing in an almost athletic way was incredible to watch. Good. Working with Mike. It was a real collaboration. This is your third time participate in a pretty films. And could you share the big difference between uh, this time and the previous two films? Yeah, you know, I think one huge difference was getting to have my co-star also, you know, direct. And, and I love Mike so much. And we've been, you know, collaborators and, and have come to be friends over the course of about eight years, nine years making these films. And I think when you know someone for a while, you know, you know them really really well and it's so nice to, to to have a suspicion that you had about them confirmed which is that I always thought he'd be a fantastic leader and probably a really good director and he is and then also I think just to get to be surprised by somebody that you've known for a long time and get to see them in a new light is always a pleasure okay. and you talk about Michael is a good director he's also a good actor yeah and as the director of this films and how would you rate him <laughs> <laughs> Ten out of ten. No, I think you know what? I think I think very good actors 
are inclined to be very good directors. You know, you learn so much about the filmmaking process and, and I, I'm kind of of the mind that actors in general are filmmakers. I know that film is a, a filmmaker's medium, a director's medium, but I think I, I have had the great pleasure of working with other actors who are directors and you know, that they thus far have been some of my favorite working experiences because they know what an actor needs. So I, you know, I rate him very, very high. Okay, and then we know that Bianca played quite a key role in the first two films. And which is the biggest difference between this role and this films? You know, one big difference is um, she has taken a step back from being a recording. She still is recording, but primarily producing, and she's not really a performing artist anymore. And that was something that we talked about, something that I, that I sort of thought made sense for her and that could provide a really compelling um, challenge for her in, a, in, a, in an interesting emotional landscape. But it meant that I wasn't, you know, in the studio this time around and, and, and wasn't writing music or performing music, which is a big shift. But I was also getting to, you know, play a mother and work with Mila and learn you know, ASL, and I think something that I really love is finding new territory and new challenges inside of what I do, and so there were plenty here. Could you say hello uh, to the audience in Taiwan and recommend this film? Hi Taiwan, thank you so much for watching this interview, and I hope that you'll go see Creed 3 in theaters, and I hope that you have as much fun watching it as we did making it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I hope you, you can come to Taiwan. I time. really hope I can come to Taiwan because I love Taiwanese food and I can't wait to explore it there. Yeah. So thanks so much. Thank you. Have a good time. Yeah, see you. Hopefully next time in person. Okay, thank you. <laughs> ready or not. I'm ready. ready. Here I come. Because I'm ready. You can't hide. I want it all. There may have been a time when Damien had your back, but he doesn't anymore. Hey, I'm just getting started, little bro. I'm coming for everything. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to die. Don't let him destroy everything you've built. Here I come.